Okay, sir. Okay. So, hello, good afternoon, one and all. On this auspicious occasion of IIT Roper's Foundation Day, I, Janmeet Singh, the host for event, and my co-host, Chinmay Agarwal, will be presenting here the Speak Mega program. To celebrate this auspicious occasion, when our prestigious institute was founded, we have with us the esteemed association with Spec Mackey, which is the Society for Promotion of Indian Classical Music and Culture Amongst Youth. This is a voluntarily youth movement which promotes intangible aspects of Indian cultural heritage by promoting Indian classical music, classical dance, folk music, yoga, meditation, crafts and other aspects of Indian culture. It is a movement which chapters in over 300 towns all over the world. Spick McKay was established by Dr. Kiran Seth with his colleagues in, 19, in 1977 at IIT Delhi. Now, we have with us a very special guest, Pandit Vishwa Mohan Bhatt, who is a renowned Hindustani classical musical instrumentalist known for playing the Mohan Veena. Padma Bhushan and Padma Shri winner Pandit Vishwa Mohan Bhatt has made amongst the biggest contribution to Indian classical music and musicians. Pandit Vishwa Mohan Bhatt was born in a family where for almost 300 years the service of music and sadhana is considered as a religion and action. Music was founded in heredity and energized. Hence, he had a natural tendency towards music. But the evidence of their unique talent can be based on the fact then when Indian youth were pursuing Western music in the 1960s, 17th, move on to you, Chinmay. By, classi by classicalizing Western instruments such as the guitar, Pandit Mohan has presented the world with an infinite instrument called the Mohan Veena. And at a mere age of 17 years, the characteristic of this wonderful instrument is that it contains both muscular and singing parts. He has been invited to almost all the major major concerts in the country and abroad for the past 50 years and has presented various progra programs in 80 countries. Pandit, Vish Pandit Vishwa Mohan Bhatt has been conferred the Padma Bhushan, Padma Shri, Grammys Award and many other honors besides the Music Natak Academy, Music Scientist, National Tanzin Award, Tandrik Emperor, Rajasthan Ratna and Global Music Award twice. The prestigious St. Petersburg University has also given him an honorary degree. Now, before we begin, let us call upon our honorable chief guest, the esteemed director of our very own institute, IIT Roper, Professor Rajiv Ahuja, to welcome Pandit VM Bhatt with his enlightening words. Moving on to you, director, sir. I cannot say much more about him. You have already told, but I would like to tell you uh, something uh, that we are missing when we are in India. So living abroad for the last thirty years, I know what is the uh, Indian classical uh, music is meant for, especially the people living outside India. So they are so attached to Indian culture through this Indian classical music. If you go to any family, we was living abroad for the last 20, 30 years. If they go to their home, they are listening to Indian classical music. And when Indian classical music uh, we talk about, so we cannot forget about Vishwamon Bhatti. He is one of the greatest uh, musicians in our time. And another thing I want to tell you that uh, when he entered uh, this uh, music world, at that time it was uh, in 16 or 17, when the youth were so inclined to Western music. So he has made, uh, in that, at that time, when he tried to attract our young youth to the Indian classical music. So I will not take too much time. And about, I would like to say one thing that we are organizing this event as a virtually, but uh, next time I want to see Pandit uh, Vishwamandri here physically. And uh, we have a main uh, state of the art uh, auditorium. I want that you should be first come and perform there. 
So this will be our uh, privilege if you accept that invitation at that time and come and perform to, uh, to IIT Gokhpur. And I will also like to thank uh, Shakuntala Lavasa, and she is a, a source of uh, our inspiration in the sense that she is connected with the speed method and especially our young PhD student and our master and PhD students. So when we were a student, we already did know about that speed method. We heard about speed method when we were in the IIT Gokhpur. So we feel now that we are coming back to our student age. And we are part of this, right? Even we are part of virtually, but we, I am looking forward to both of you physical perform at IIT robot in a physical world. With that, I will stop here. This is our foundation day also. So I will also like to wish uh, best vision from the IIT uh, fraternity to do to you so that you have accepted this invitation in a very short time and and going to perform for us. And it's really our pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Director, sir, for such a soft welcome to our great artist. Now, let us grace our foundation day with the promotion of cultural activities through a melodious performance by Pandit V. M. Bhatt of the Society of Promotion of Indian Classical Music and Culture Amongst Youth. Let us begin. Namaskar, presenting you Rag Gauti using Komar Nishad and rest notes are natural. Shangar Ras it has, which we always connect with Radha and Krishna. And evening, late evening Raga, which I am presenting you. First, there will be Alap, Jor Jhala part. Then it will be followed by Bilambitgat and Rudgat in Tritar. Thank you. <clears throat>
really beautiful performance. So uh, now I'd like to uh, invite Pandit Ji. Uh, the stage is yours. Uh, would you like to say a few words? Sure. Uh, my namaskar to Director Sir and Dr. Lavasa and very dear students. First of all, I want to congratulate IIT Roper for this Foundation Day. Uh, it is a great achievement and uh, I am very happy that today I am a part of it. So it is very nice. Uh, on, uh, as you know that uh, this uh, organization, Speak Make, Society for Promotion of Indian Classical Music and Culture Amongst Youth, they are doing a great job in promoting and propagating Indian classical music amongst the younger generation. The contribution of them is tremendous. And uh, Dr. Kiran said uh, from IIT Delhi, he founded this uh, organization long back, I think more than 45 years before. And that this, this was like a dream to every musician that our music, our heritage, our classical music should reach to the younger generation because they were more attracted to Western culture, Western music and this and that. But uh, I'm very, very happy now the scenario is changed. Our youth is well aware of what is Indian classical music because uh, we the musician, we try to go to the schools, colleges, universities, IITs, IIMs, every institute and then be there in, in their institution and perform and the students, they ask questions, we answer them also. So it is very live experience for the students which, is, which might be very, very beneficial. And now we see the fruit coming out of it, the efforts of Spikmake, we see that now, now our youth is, is well, well, well uh, aware of Indian classical music. Who's who of Indian classical music? Otherwise, they only knew Michael Jackson, Madonna, and these people. But now they know who is Pandit Ravi Shankar, who is Zakir Husainji, or who is who. So this is a very good sign for our youth that this this heritage should be handed over to the younger generation. So I'm very, very happy today. Over. Thanks a lot, sir, for your kind words. We really <laughs> got a lot of awareness through Speak My Case program. Now, uh, for a little bit of interaction with such an esteemed artist, we would like to call upon our students if they have any questions to ask from you regarding music sure. or anything. Most welcome. So, any questions? Who is who is first? Uh, whoever has any questions, please raise your hands and we'll select among amongst the audience. So, uh, firstly, I would like to call upon Karthik Tiwari. I'm in Tiwari. Uh, yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Good, good evening. First of all, it's an honor to talk with all of you. Uh, despite being in the online mode due to the situation. I just had a doubt that I had learned a little bit of uh, Indian classical music when I was quite young. And at that time, we had to give some like written exams also to pass that year. So in that, there was some theory which at that time I was not clearly able to understand. Like just now before your performance, you mentioned that this ra rag has its Gayan Sameh uh, during the Sandhya Kal. So a lot of rags have gone some like Ratri ke Pratham Peher Mein and all of that. So yeah. how is this determined? Uh, like from the flow of the rag or the mood? Yes. Actually, our uh, Vidwans, our old maestros, they categorize the ragas according to the time frame. There are star prayer, as you said, ki pr yes, Pratham Peher, Dvitiya Prayer, Atritiya Prayer, or Chautha Prayer. So, when we get up, I will talk about uh, the whole day cycle. When we get up in the morning, we have a different kind of mindset. We always in a mood, calm and quiet. And then we, we usually we pray God that our day should go nicely. 
and everything should be all right today. I want to make my today the best day. So this kind of, uh, you know, worship and uh, this is, we connect with spirituality. And so those ragas has, have been categorized like Bhairav, Bhairvi, Asavari, Todi, Bhatiyar. These are the ragas which are sung in the morning. First Pratham prayer. Because they have, they have not so exciting ragas. They are little serene in the nature. Bhav. Uh, Shant Bhav, what we call in that. Then afternoon ragas, second Dusra prayer, in that the weather becomes little hot and dry. So that, in that we use Tivar Madhyam and Shuddha Rishav. Yes. So that is depicted in the ragas, the nature. And then the evening. Evening, we are generally, you know, relaxed a little bit that we, our day now is uh, going very, very well and almost finishing day. So they, we are in a relaxed way, like what we call the little Shangar, Shangar Ras. Shangar means romanticism also comes in, in those ragas. So in, in that raga, Puriya Dhanashri, Puriya Kalyan, Purvi, Yaman, Yaman is full of Shangaras. And Shangaras we always connect with Radha and Krishna. So that evening ragas are there. Then night. Night, we our mood is very serious. Now everything over, we are in a relaxed mode and we want to go to sleep with peace, peaceful mind. Those ragas who give you peace of mind and relaxing are categorized in the night category. So there, there are four categories like this. Time theory, okay. very scientific. Yes, sir. Over. So, so this mood depends upon the vadi and samvadi swar of that rag. Yeah. Like which is more dominant. Uh, that, that is uh, also there, yes. Uh, okay. Most uh, okay. of them, they have vadi, uh, means the most prominent the most Spur, which is used in the rag is called vadi and then next important note is called samvadi and then rest of the notes are called anuvadi so that makes a rag okay thanks a lot sir welcome welcome kartik next please okay so uh, next is ritvik and uh, please uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. I'm so sorry I wouldn't be able to turn on my camera right now. I have terrible internet connection. But uh, before my question, I would just uh, like to say I graduated from APJ school, Pitampura, uh, and I remember uh, Spit McKay being pretty much an annual thing for us. And we would always uh, look forward to it. Obviously, it could have happened the last two years because of COVID. But when I heard that you'd be performing here again, I just had to come. And it's an honor, really, to watch you perform again. Uh, so thank you for that. And uh, my question is, I am uh, not really very cultured in when it comes to Indian classical music. So, so where, so how would you advise a beginner like me to uh, mm -hmm. start from, and where to start from listening and playing classical music, Indian classical music? Yes, yes. Uh, there is a, always possibility of learning things in your life. Any age is fine to learn new things. And uh, the first thing I would like you to suggest to you is that nowadays uh, take advantage of this internet, mm -hmm. the mobile, the YouTube especially, where you have great maestros recording, nicely recorded, and you can just click the great persons of Indian classical music, and you will listen to their music very mm -hmm. easily. It, it has become so easy now. Otherwise, in my days, when I was growing at your age, it was very difficult to listen to Indian classical music because there was no exposure. There were uh, no internet, no mobiles, nothing, no TV. Only it was we, are, we were depending on All India Radio. We used to listen to a radio station. 
now you should uh, this younger generation is uh, very lucky so you should take advantage and listen to different kind of music and especially indian classical music which can give you very relaxing mood very uh, the the positivity starts and you feel that you are floating in crowds crowds and you tend to become a good human being after listening to indian classical music that is the power of uh, indian classical music that it transforms one person heart and it teaches you how to be calm quiet and polite and nice to everybody and it is full of spreading love all over that is the power of indian classical music and gradually you can be able to understand what is matra going what is rag going so it all depends on how how much you listen to it okay thank you sir welcome lord for answering that question sir now let us move to one more question by shashank ah hello uh, good evening sir uh, good first evening. of all uh, i feel very blessed to have conversation with you sir and uh, sir my question is that uh, as you said that uh, you started your uh, spike maker started its journey right uh, 45 years ago so what were the response you got that time and how is it different now like uh, yeah uh, i would like you to uh, pronounce correctly it is not a spike it is a spic s p i c society for promotion of indian classical music and art amongst youth okay uh, yes uh, 45 years before it started so in the beginning the response was little slow but the aim of indian uh, uh, aim of uh, popularizing indian classical music by speak make is so strong that it grew up little slowly but it took its place and gradually it became so popular every school every college universities iits they wanted musicians to come and perform in their premises that is wonderful because what happens our suppose our concert is in tagore hall somewhere but the younger generation the student they don't come to uh, listen to uh, indian classical music concert so much so the best way was the what dr kiran said thought that we should go to them artists should go there and perform so this was uh, the idea which really clicked and i think since that uh, that time it was little slow but now it has picked up so well and uh, every artist is so contributing to it because uh, we generally perform for speak make with a very very nominal or minimum fees otherwise our fees are little high but for speak make we are always ready to sacrifice our time and energy and um, we give performance so now i think uh, it has become a part of their life and uh, this is a wonderful uh, time which we are spending i think it's a golden time for any kind of music over thanks a lot for answering that question sir now yes. before having any more questions let us move to one more performance yes the next next one is jor jhala
Well, the beautiful and melodious performance by Pandit Mohan Ji. So, uh, now I'd like to move on to the next performance without any further delay. And uh, if there are any further questions, we'll take them after this. Go ahead. Anybody? Any questions? Sir, I guess we will take more questions after one more performance. Uh, since there are okay. sure. Yeah. sure. <laughs>
got an intense and rhythmic performance quiet melodies to my ears so uh, now as we have seen few quite a few performances i would like the audience to raise some questions and interact with sir yeah so uh, you can raise your hands if there are any questions yeah sir we would be taking our question by from yash rai okay go ahead please uh, namaskar sir and namaskar, namaskar. to everyone present here okay sir, one, um, one thing it yes, uh, the correct correct pronunciation is namaskar it's not not namaskar okay sir Actually, so, in our school, it's a uh, Bharati Vidya Bhavan Swidhyashram. We were always told to uh, pronounce it as Namaskar. So that's where namaskar, my pronunciation is. Namaskar. Nice namaskar actually, it's not sir. Sure, sure. It is sir. Yes, sir. Sir, sir. 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 <laughs> sorry, sure. sorry to interrupt you. No, 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 sir. It's always. And it is a noun actually. Uh, means uh, Namaskar means I am presenting you my pranam. <clears throat> And yes, if you say in Sanskrit Namaste, then Namah te, aapko naman, aapko namah hai. So ye hai. Uh, Namaskar is a noun. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure, sir. Sabhi kehte hai ki aapko mera namaskar malum ho. You know. Mm -hmm. This is the, anyway, go ahead. Yes, sir. So, uh, sir, we all heard your performance on the instrument. It's yes, called sir. Mohan Meena, right? Yes. Yeah. So, sir, my question was about the instrument itself. That, uh, what would you classify the instrument more as? As a guitar or as a veena, or it's totally something different new? Or would you call it as a conjunction of Western music and Indian Indian classical music? You already answered my question in your question. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It is a guitar also. It is uh, more veena also. And as as you said, uh, this is like combination. And uh, what you say, the amalgamation of two yes, instruments. Sir. And I have incorporated the sound and techniques of other instruments also. Sitar, Sarod, and Veena yes, all, is always there. So this is like a, a completely, as you said, new thing. New thing to Indian classical music in my humble manner. It has uh, the, the uh, benefit. Uh, and I, I'll show you this, this tumba I added here. And then it has a, like see sympathetic strings which guitar does not have. This is a body of guitar. Yes, sir. But it has twenty strings in all. So that is a completely an Indian instrument now. And uh, for last fifty five years, I have been performing on this Mohan Veena. So it is like in more than hundred countries. It is popular, and I have performed in about uh, 82 cities till now. So this is going to be a new new revolution in, in the field of Indian classical music, in my humble manner. Yes, sir. Thank Over. you, sir. It's an honor talking to you. Welcome. So uh, the next question is from Kanapriya. Okay. Good evening, sir. So, sir, firstly, I have to say. Uh, it's a very great initiative that you have taken and it will help our Indian heritage to remain alive. So I yeah. want to ask like, uh, how will you take uh, Indian classical music at global level? Yeah, uh, these days, uh, yes. thanks to technology and all, I, our music has become very popular all over the world. As uh, I mentioned previously that I have performed in about 82 countries wherever i go i find that there is a great enthusiasm for indian classical music people are interested they buy tickets very expensive tickets they put because organizer they want to earn money out of us so even then the audience purchases the ticket comes all the way from their home to attend the indian classical music concerts and especially indians living abroad, they usually attend the, the Indian classical program so well. So now our music has reached beyond boundaries and it has reached every country. And uh, look at uh, contribution of Pandit Ravi Shankar, the great sitar player, uh, my Guruji. 
uh, who has popularized Indian classical music all over the globe very, very nicely in a very big manner. He collaborated with some Western musicians also. That is why he got so many awards also. Uh, in my humble manner, following his footstep, I also did some fusion music with some Western artists and I got the Grammy Award, the highest music award in the world in America, that is a Grammy, as you already know. In that, uh, you know, like Indian music has reached up to that top level of uh, Grammy. That is wonderful and uh, we should be very proud that uh, it has reached to that height. So I would like to say that now Indian music is very popular amongst Western countries and all, all over the world and the musicians there, the renowned musicians of their country, they take interest in collaborating with Indian musicians so much. We get so much offers, you know, that we want to collaborate with you. We want to collaborate with you. We want to make an album. We want to reach up to Grammys, this and that, you know, things are there. So I, I think uh, Indian classical music is becoming more and more popular these, these days uh, due to the artist uh, performance as well as due to the internet and reach out. We are now able to reach out or globally. Even some uh, people sitting in Los Angeles can listen to Indian classical music, live performances. YouTube is so popular these days. If you see how many viewers are there for Indian classical music, then you will realize that it is uh, so popular these days all over the world. Over. That's very great to hear, sir. Uh, yeah. And we, uh, we all know that you have a very big hand in that contribution uh, in taking no, no. India to that global level. No, no, so, I am very, you, very, very small. I am the smallest. Okay, <laughs> uh, I'm not so. Big. It is, it is a quite big contribution. Uh, you, you have reached out to a, a really big global stage in 80, 80 over eighty countries, as you said. So, uh, if we cannot say that it is a small contribution, sir. It is a. Big <laughs> no, no. We have to do more and more. There is always chance to do better, and improvement. So now I'd like to, uh, like, uh, we'll just move on to the next video and uh, yes, yes. get into the next one. Sure. Now I'm presenting Rag Basant, Daivat and Rishav Komal, both Madhyam. It is seasonal Rag, sung and played in Vasant Ritu. Thank you.
नाउ आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग राग जय जय वंती बहुत गंधार बहुत निषाद वेरी ब्यूटीफुल राग आई विल बी प्लेइंग लिटिल अलाव इन द बिगनिंग एंड देन फॉलोड बाई ए गच इन रूपकता सेवन बीट से थैंक यू
time is over now. I I I suggest uh, that uh, the last one you should not play. Okay, it is too long. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. So uh, for, before that, level, uh, I'd like to request if there are any further questions from the uh, audience. Yeah, they can. Student, yeah, students question. or any other faculty members, please. Mm. So uh, there is one from Arman Gupta. I think we should end it here. Uh, hello. Yes. Good evening, sir. I am Arivan Gupta. Namaskar. Okay. Namaskar. So, sir, I wanted to ask that uh, nowadays many people are attracted towards Western culture. A big point might be because that even our Hindi Bollywood music is more Westernized rather than our, of our Indian culture. So. Sir, can we say that uh, if uh, our Hindi music is more inclined towards our Indian classical music, more people might be interested in it, especially Indians? Yeah, uh, you cannot deny the impact of Western culture, Western music. It is a fact, but uh, I think still we have the soul of Indian music in, in our film or whatever it is there. Because uh, <clears throat> every song is based on some rag. Every every song is based on some rag. So rag is always there. They cannot escape any uh, like this. So I I think the the use of electronic instrument has increased these days. Instead of the acoustic sitar, saroj, veena, tabla, dholak, these uh, instruments are disappearing, and uh, mostly the keyboard and synthesizer uh, is taking place. And uh, so I, I think uh, still we have some people who love Indian classical music and they incorporate, uh, like Sanjay Leela Bhansali, he always puts Indian uh, classical music there uh, with with very, very nicely done taan and alap and uh, rag, everything is there. So I think, I think uh, the So I don't fear anything and I don't uh, worry for anything that we are attracted to uh, other culture. But yes, Indian uh, music is always there. Over. I think uh, we are getting late uh, now. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So uh, without any further delay and ado, let me invite upon stage our Honorable Associate Dean of Student Affairs. Martha, sir, uh, to give a okay. thanks, a note of thanks to you. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Director, sir, and Pandit J. Nabisabhaji. And uh, just uh, I, I will add a few points uh, from our student side at Pondiji. So, uh, as we say, uh, academic, so we have a uh, different class where we have a board of uh, cultural affairs. And in fact, out of this uh, board of uh, cultural affairs, we have a music club. So, all the students who are actually courses are who are from also music clubs. I hope. Uh, you are uh, even to be inspired not only the members of the club but also the other students to motivate to call to join into this music club and to perform more uh, in their uh, career so i hope in this foundation day and uh, you, you might have inspired to many of our students and in fact uh, to our occasion so it was uh, i feel it is successful and uh, I thank uh, to you and uh, Navasamadam for uh, coordinating uh, this occasion. In fact, uh, uh, Dr. Neil, uh, Nilton Karmakar, who is the faculty advisor of this event, he made a, a small accident by which he couldn't join. So both uh, Dr. Nilton and uh, Dr. Anupam Bhandar, they are faculty advisors, they coordinated with our student group. The students, our student board always take the lead. 
So the students, they really uh, did very good job and to make this uh, arrangement, uh, the, starting from contacting you to get your uh, civil details and then all uh, live program they did. It. So the credit goes to them, to them and to you to make this uh, event successful. So thank you, uh, Pandiji and Lavas Madam. And thank you, Director Sir. And we see here, our director sir is still watching with us uh, in the same room where we have the uh, library. So you can see that uh, our director is uh, our supporting to the application. So uh, thank you all. So thank you uh, all our students and uh, my colleagues and staff and uh, the, uh, our IT team who is still here. So thank you all. So again, we can continue with more uh, support. Uh, uh, from the students, you can thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Martha, for your uh, kind and heartwarming words. So, uh, firstly, I'd like to thank Pandit Vishwamohan Bhatt for gracing us with his present presence and for the be beautiful music we listened to today. Although we would have loved it even more if we could have hosted you offline, sir, but as you know, because of today's pandemic situation, we had to host this event online. We look forward to hosting you once again after the uh, after this pandemic dies physically. Till then, please accept our words as a bouquet for you. Also, I'd like to thank Dr. Shakuntala Lavasa, without whom this event would not have been possible. Dr. Lavasa is the North Zone Chairperson at Spik Make, who aims to make our uh, uh, who aims to make our composite cultural heritage reach every youth, even in the remote places, for them to take pride and pleasure in our composite cultural heritage. Now, I'd like to thank our director, Dr. Raji Ahuja, who gave us this opportunity to present this memorable event on this auspicious occasion of our, our Institute's Foundation Day. The support we received from the Student Affairs section was also crucial for the success of this event. A special thanks to Dr. Neil Kant, the faculty advisor for cultural activities at IIT Roper, for, arra uh, for arranging the event and getting in touch with the artist. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks. much. All the best. Thank you, uh, yes, uh, sir. Director Sir and Martha Sir and every student. I'm I'm very very grateful that you gave so much time to listen to it the performance and I was very very happy to be connected with you. All the best. And uh, happy Foundation Day for IIT Roper. We will do more. And uh, the, the next time I will be very happy, as you said, there will be live performance also. So, uh, if possible, I will be I will be coming for it. Thank you so much. Thank Namaskar, you. everybody. Namaskar. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar.